The following virtual tour of the official path of the Moore, Oklahoma tornado on May 20th, 2013 is a production of TornadoChannel.com. The path data was created by survey crews from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Norman, Oklahoma, and mapping graphics are courtesy of Google Earth. There are three color contours depicting the various strengths of the tornado from its core outward. The red indicates the strongest winds, while the blue indicates the weaker outer winds of the vortex. The National Weather Service says this tornado reached a width of 1.3 miles, with estimated wind speeds as high as 210 miles per hour. According to the National Weather Service, this devastating tornado first touched ground at about 2.45 p.m. immediately east of Timberlake Reservoir, about 12 miles southwest of Moore. At this point, and for the first four miles or ten minutes of the tornado's 17-mile-long path, the tornado's wind speeds were in the EF0 to EF1 range, or between 65 and 110 miles per hour. Once the tornado crosses Northwest 32nd Street and begins approaching Interstate 44, we begin to see our first signs of EF3 and EF4 damage caused by winds between 136 and 200 miles per hour. The tornado crosses Interstate 44 at EF3 strength and is now heading right for the heart of Moore. It's at this spot where the tornado reaches its maximum width, an estimated 1.3 miles wide. Meanwhile, National Weather Service radar now begins to show the telltale signs of a violent tornado, a massive area of debris called a debris ball, circulating thousands of feet above the ground. In fact, National Weather Service radar out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, estimates that the debris may have reached an altitude of 20,000 feet. As the tornado approaches the community of Westmore, it sadly heads right toward Briarwood Elementary School. And it's at this school where the tornado unfortunately hits its peak wind speed of between 200 and 210 miles per hour, thrusting it into the category of EF5, the highest category there is. Passing Southmore High School a mere half mile to the north, the tornado with strong EF4 winds turns slightly to the northeast and slams into Plaza Towers Elementary School. As it continues northeastward with EF4 winds in the center and EF3 strengths towards the outer portions of the rotation, the tornado slams into the Moore Warren Theaters and Moore Medical Center. The tornado continues east-northeastward through Moore, maintaining strong EF3 winds with an EF4 center as it hits a third school, Highland East Junior High. It's not until about a mile east of this junior high school that the tornado starts to weaken, with mostly EF3 damage being reported along the center of the circulation. The tornado then spends its last few minutes at EF2 strength, with some low-level EF3 damage reported just before it ropes out about a third of a mile east of Air Depot Road, this nearly five miles east of Moore. Thank you for watching, and for more information about tornado events, please visit TornadoChannel.com.